Okay, I got my plate of tomatoes. And I, all I'm going to do is take them and squeeze them. Just like that right there. And it's a good thing I got this little wire thing. Because, uh, see how clean that come? You just squeeze them. You have to wash it off. There's a whole bunch of tomato seeds in one tomato. I have two tomatoes here just for demonstration. If you haven't done so yet, please hit the like button and the uh, subscribe button. And check out my other video all about squash seeds. You can do this with any kind of tomato. I'm just going to get it enough seeds, plenty of seeds, for me and my family. It's always better to have more than not enough. If you haven't done so, please hit the like and subscribe button. I just kind of roll them around like that to get all that stuff off of them. You really save a lot of money by saving your own seeds. Because that price does add up. It gets expensive. It don't sound like much, but after you add all the seeds up that you're going to need, then... It, it becomes expensive. I love tomatoes. You can use them for, they're, they're like, you can use them for everything. Spaghetti sauces, soups. If you haven't done so, please hit the like and subscribe button. Make sure the bell's on because this is a series, y'all. I'm doing all kind of seeds. Don't miss them. Y'all, I probably saved about, I don't know, six bucks already just out here piddling in the yard. This is a normal size eating tomato. You do not have to overgrow your tomatoes to do this. If you're looking for seeds, things to do this with, the best places to get them is a local grocery store that buys from local farmers in your area. And um, you can get them at farmer's markets or you can order them online. You get them at farmer's markets and, and at the grocery store by buying the, the, the vegetable itself. But be sure that it's from your local area because the ones at Walmart will not grow. Then you just you're gonna take your screen and flip it over and tap your seeds off of it. You won't get them all off. You'll get the majority. Then you just take them and smear them out a little bit. Let everything dry. After it dries, you put it in a Ziploc bag and put it with your favorite seed collection. And I'll show you how to plant them next year. 